If you didn't know yet, I'm actually a Proton fan. And I'm not talking about the Proton, of course, with the elements of the periodic table. I am talking about the apps that Proton, the company, provides us with. And today I'm going to talk about, in my opinion, the most simplest VPN you could set up so you're way more secure on the internet. I have actually talked about Proton multiple occasions, especially in this video. And today I'm going to talk about the Proton VPN. If you go to proton.me, this website, click here on VPN, you should easily go to this website, protonvpn.com. Here you can get your VPN for free and you don't have to pay for anything. They're saying a 30 day back guarantee is only if you want to do the subscription. Let's go and click here on get Proton VPN now. The only thing you have to do is scroll down here and go to the right side that is right here on the website and click on get Proton free. After clicking on this, you can actually see this. You can click here on continue with free and then you just need to sign in your proton.me account. It's very easy. Go to proton.me website. Above, you can click on create a free account. Here, you just click on the left side, Proton free, one gigabyte of storage, one user, and one email address, all for free. And if you click here, you're getting the most secure mail, uh, drive, calendar, um, everything alternative to Google pretty much, but it is way more secure. If you click here on continue with Proton free, you should easily be able to enter your own details right here. What type of username do you want? What type of uh, domain mail address do you want? You can easily select it here, enter your name here, password and repeat it and then create an account. It's very easy. And after doing that, you can go to protonvpn.com. I'm just going to click here on sign in. This is because I've already an account. There you go. I am signing in. And after doing this, I have my authentication app which of course I also made a video about, which is coming out this Saturday. It's actually tomorrow for me. There you go. It's actually even in my calendar uploading how to. This is because I'm trying to upload here every single Saturday to keep it consistent. And sometimes I do want to upload a little bit more in the week, but it's definitely going to be every single Saturday. Sometimes I get more videos out to get more engagement with the audience you guys if you already think that this channel is very useful please consider subscribing i mean come on if you're looking here 98.9 percent is not even subscribed please consider it right now i will be providing tech tips every single saturday and this is including the best applications the best optimization options you could choose for and this is all tested by me a person that has six years of experience in the it support so yes, your computer can magically become faster or sort of. Turning off animations is not considered as faster, but it reacts faster. So I assume that it is. For the rest, there you go. It is authenticating. And now I am logged in. Of course, it's uh, saying blah, blah. doesn't really matter. I just want to go to downloads right here. And after doing this, you have Proton VPN clients. You can download it for every single OS right here which is also your phone. Here you go. You can easily, easily install it here. So let's click on Windows. After doing this, it's going to get this page and we're going to get it for free by clicking here on Download Proton VPN. Just going to choose my Downloads folder. That's fine. Now it's going to download. It's only 80 MB, so that's megabytes. And yeah, here you have a comparison to what's better. They have a 100% free option. By the way, I have another good tip, not just Proton VPN, but you also have Urban VPN Proxy. You can see it right here. Uh, if you install this, it's also very easy to switch your VPN only in your browser. And actually, I sort of think that this is better, but this is because you can select which country you want and it's only your browser, the rest is not. But because it's only your browser, it doesn't secure your whole system. Let's say that someone is able to get to in your system from your browser, then a Trojan horse in your system. You're still not secured with a VPN or an antivirus. An antivirus just scans for viruses on your computer if it has the potential to attack you in a bad way. A VPN makes sure that people can't even access your computer. And this is because it is hidden on a network that is not in your location. Usually, you can get a VPN in your own Home country, I don't recommend this, but it doesn't really matter anyways. They can't find your origin anyways. And if you're here for privacy concerns, please consider watching this video because here I have shown you the best alternative with 
the end of viruses with the best price and everything it's all free this is a whole tutorial about free antivirus you can use and they're all the best they will secure you in the background remember that a vpn doesn't do that it just hides your location but let's continue to install proton vpn just start the exe file and then click yes on the executable here for you give permissions that you can install it now i'm just going to select english keep it simple don't make it complicated after doing this it could pop up like this and then there you go it's here uh we're just going to make a start menu folder which is actually found here if you click on start you have this option if you have windows 11 it's the same for windows 10 a little bit different uh you can actually see here on all apps and also have folder here and everything it's all the apps you pretty much download so i'm just going to click here on next and agree to that the desktop of course that's right here um on your desktop i'm just going to disable that i don't really like it install proton drive it's an encrypted cloud storage it's only one gigabyte so it is secure but i only recommend it for small files i'm just not going to install it we are only going to install the vpn let's click on next and then on install after installing you need to enter your own account details and i am lucky to have a good password manager proton pass i made a video I'm sorry I'm promoting so much, but I want the best useful information for you guys. I'm really honest about the one. So, two seconds, and then start and connect on boot. Uh, it depends. Boot means the startup of your own computer. If you want this to start up your computer, which I do recommend if you want to continuously be safe, then do it. I'm not going to do it because it will start up in your background, be annoying, and usually you only need it when you're browsing the web or... Uh, accessing you to the internet because that is when people are going to search for your location or called IP. An IP address stands for I Internet Protocol. It is uh, where your computer is connected to your modem, your router and everything like that. But it just shows you the location where you are. And we're going to hide that with this VPN. Just going to click here on sign in. And now I have to get the second uh, authentication code. Be right back. You could assume that's very annoying, but I would assume that it's very smart. Here you go. This is the option you're getting. I'm just going to click here on skip. This is because the tour is only explaining you how to use this. By the way, this is a program running in the background, but you can only quick connect to a random network. This means that it is only assigning you to a random uh, location in the world and you can't really pick it. And this is because it's a free plan, but it does hide your computer's location from the internet which is already very good here we have uh, my connection to netherlands which is actually new this is not a location where i am uh if i click here on change server it's going to pick a random location again a random server now i'm connected to the us you can see this right here so if i were to go to google for example type ip address i should be able to see a different ip address than where i am uh i am now where am I? I am now right here in the United States. Do you believe me? But this is what the internet believes. And this is why you want to use a VPN. It hides the location where you are. And people are less likely to hack you. Which is way more secure. So you can actually also see here. This is also a map where you are. And your internet speed does change a little bit. Here you can actually see the up and downs. Uh, how much it costs to connect there. Everything like that. If I were to do... A speed test we should be able to see here you go proton vpn that's is where we are connected to now uh usually i get around 300 uh megabytes i mean and bits let's see what's gonna do so it doesn't really downgrade your internet speed too much and you're way more secure especially in the background so let's say i would close proton vpn right now here on the x it should here you go be in the system tray which is actually down here below if you click on the arrow you should be able to find it here if you double click on it you can open it uh they easily have settings here left above go to settings they here have start on boot you can easily enable that and start minimize this means that it is not visible when you start unless you wanted to go um to the system tray i prefer system tray because it's right here it is hidden Instead of the taskbar, that means that it's down here, which we usually don't want. It's annoying if you start a computer, you want to have the system tray, start on boot, starting on when the system starts, connect on app start. This means that it automatically connects when you um, start the VPN, which you also want to do, but do know that it's going to take a few moments to connect to a new server, therefore connect you to the internet and everything like that. It should be very fast. 
early access if you want to try, try beta features, I guess. It's not very uh, special here. Uh, don't change the protocol because uh, it has a protocol that keeps you secure. Don't touch that. Advanced, especially don't touch that if you don't have understanding about what's happening. Now you have seen that this VPN connects me to a different network without losing too much internet speed. And therefore you're way more secure on the internet. And if you combine this with an antivirus, you should be very safe. No one can find your location. No one can access your computer, put in a virus because your computer will be able to see that and you should be safe. I to thank you so much for watching. I think this was pretty useful. I have already made a video about a VPN, I guess, in the past, but I wanted to make a more detailed version of this, especially I've made more videos about antiviruses, how to make yourself secure on the internet while using a notificator uh, app or a password manager that's very secure. I really recommend that you use Proton. It's actually funny because I've made these uh, type of t-shirts and a sticker on our uh, own website that is thephonus.nl slash shop. Here you can easily find these designs I've made the most secure. And here you have the mail, the drive and the password manager. I've already made some videos about that one and I hope you enjoy these kinds of designs. I'm trying to make the science first thing of video making. This is because I want to connect to you and sell things to do where you're interested in, of course. And that's the most important part. If you like this video, there's probably a chance that you like the merch I'm making for it. And this is also for my other channels. I want to thank you for watching for really now. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.